Microsoft um, didn't do it. And my guess is that NVIDIA doesn't, doesn't want Microsoft to do it. And so they would limit the capacity because um, from NVIDIA's perspective, both they don't want to necessarily launch their own cloud provider because it's competing with their customers, but also they don't want only one customer um, or only a few customers. It's really bad for um, NVIDIA if you have customer concentration and Microsoft and um, Google and um, Amazon, like Oracle too, like buy up your entire supply um, and then you have four or five customers or so um, who pretty much get to set prices. And uh, monopsony. Yeah, a monopsony. And so the optimal thing for you is a diverse set of customers um, who all are willing to pay at whatever price, because if you don't, somebody else will. And so it's really optimal for NVIDIA to have lots of other customers who are all competing against each other. Great. Just yeah. wanted to establish that. It's unintuitive for people who have never thought about it and you think about it all day long. Yeah. <laughs> the last thing I'll, I'll call out from the talk, which is kind of cool, and then I, I promise we'll get to uh, SF Compute, is why mm -hmm. will... Uh, Digital Ocean and Together lose money on their clusters. Why will Digital Ocean and Together lose money on their clusters? Um, I'm going to start by clarifying that all of these businesses are excellent and fantastic. Um, that Together and Digital Ocean and Lambda, I think, are wonderful businesses who do um, like build excellent products. Um, but my general intuition um, is that if you try to couple the software and the hardware together, you're going to lose money. 